Hi guys. So I'm here to share with you um, a super quick tutorial on how I um, bound and created uh, this flip book, which allows for some chunkiness, a little bit more chunkiness in the flip book. Because I created these gussets, it makes it a little bit easier um, for you to either add you know, little gifts or um, make extra embellishments, add extra embellishments that won't make your uh, book or paper buckle. So um, I will share with you, I'm using, uh, you know, I love my Maggie Holmes. So this is um, confetti, her confetti line. This is an older line for crepe paper. And I just love um, this particular sheet. Look how cute it is with the party hats. So if you're going to use a 12 by 12 um, sheet of just plain cardstock and embellish it, you know, mat it later, um, that's fine too. It'll make it extra sturdy. I like to use a pattern paper, um, sometimes without um, a design on the back because then really on the outside all I have to kind of do is embellish it whereas on the inside then I can pick some fun pattern papers um, and not have to worry about what's on the back side to match maybe that's kind of like a lazy thing I don't know <laughs> so what you want to do is <laughs> you want to start out with um, let me see if it's okay. Uh, you want to start out with the 12 by 12 so that you get two sheets of 6 by 12 um, out of it. Okay, super easy. And then you're going to score at 5 and 7 eighths and 6 and 1 eighth. And then you just also want to make sure if there's a specific direction to the paper that when you fold the book or the page or the flip book that it's going in the right direction because this is the way it's ultimately going to close. So believe me, I've wasted, well not wasted because I'll use it, but I've definitely made my mistakes as far as the direction of the paper goes. <laughs> okay. And then you get an upside down page and for someone like me that's upsetting. <laughs> so anyway, there are your two sheets of 6 by 12 and then let's get scoring. This is the 5 and 7 eighths mark and then the 6 and 1 eighth mark. Okay. Don't press too hard when you're scoring too, especially if you just have one of these or if you have a um, just a bone folder and you know the scoring, the Martha Stewart scoring board. I wouldn't press too hard. Okay, so that part is done. And now you're left, it's easier to see it on this side, you're left with your gusset there in the middle. There are the two score marks, right? Okay. And then it's just pretty much from here, it's as simple as folding it over. And where is that score line? Sometimes I don't see the score line and I'll just do it that way. Okay. Take your bone folder and just reinforce. Make sure it's lined up, that your score marks were pretty good and um, clear. Okay. And then when you fold it over, you get like your little book. Okay. So let's do the next one. And the last score mark. There we go. Okay, so now you have two equal sheets. And there it is again. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so there's your little book. Okay, so now what I do is 
I, there isn't a real preference. Um, it depends on where the seam is going to be. But the reason I like this as well is sometimes with the pattern paper, you don't really know where the seam is when you join these two. Um, but somehow, I think I like to just put the left side on top of the right side so that when you glue it down, I like to use um, score tape or tape runner. You see, you really don't see the seam. Okay. So then it is really just about, I'm not gonna do perfect. This is just right now for show. This is one of my favorite tape runners, by the way. It is by Basil. It is Basil Basics Paper, and it's extreme, like, high-tack. Um, high-tack, sorry if that sounded like high-tech, but it's high-tack adhesive, and it's great. Um, okay, so when you put down this piece of paper, the only thing you want to watch out for is that you don't go too close to the score mark because when you fold it over, it's going to buckle when it meets up with this score line. So sometimes what I do is I'll just take it and shave off a hair, but for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to do my best to line it up just shy of the score mark. Okay, and then glue it down. And then you give it a good burnish, a good rub down. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, so then what you have is now a nice simple book with two gussets, and at least it allows for a little bit of um, bulky embellishing and that way you don't have to worry about the paper buckling or um, it kind of falling apart when you, you know, if you mat this, the inside and then fold it over without gussets, it starts buckling like this and then the matting starts coming off. So anyway, I hope that was clear. Um, if you have any questions, please, please let me know. And um, I would love to see what you guys come up with and uh, what you share as far as your flipbooks. So have a great day, guys. Bye.